to a brief tutorial about Read and Write for Google Chrome. It's a district-owned Chrome extension for all students and all staff. On our website, you will find all of these short videos that the company has produced, and you can look at the tools specifically. So every student who wants to use this has to be signed into Chrome. You can see that I am signed in and I'm synced. So because of that, the purple puzzle piece shows up. That is the tool. So let's go to a website. And now we click on the extension. And there's your toolbar. In this case, a student wants to learn about the tree frogs, but they're not reading at the level of this text. So they want to have it read out loud. Of course, they would use headphones. So this tool right here is called Hover Speech. You click on it, and then everywhere your mouse hovers, it will start reading. A female red-eyed tree frog has laid a batch of eggs on a leaf. A student can choose a different voice or speed of voice here in the settings. If a student wants to look up a word, let's say batch, they're going to highlight it, then they're going to go to the dictionary icon. It will read the word to them if they want, it will also read the definitions out loud. If a student needs the support of an image, they can click on the picture dictionary. Another nice tool is screen masking for students who have trouble following along. Maybe they just need this support. Maybe they read pretty well, but their eyes have a hard time tracking so they can choose this. And again, there are more settings for these colors and the width of the line. I'll turn that off. A nice study tool that I want to show you is the highlighters. So if a student wanted to capture a couple of facts about the frogs from this website and write about them, all they have to do is click and drag to choose a sentence and then click on a highlighter and then do it the same thing, grab another sentence. You can click on the same color or you can choose a different color if you want to sort these facts by topic or category. Let's just grab two. Once you're done, the student will hit the Collect Highlights button. Click OK. Now it's going to create a Google Doc for the student. It just takes a moment. And now these two facts are here and the website that they found it from. So they can always go back to cite their research, research and then uh, go back and look for more information. If they don't want the colors there, they can select that text and then click on the broom and that will sweep them away. Okay, now we're in writing mode. So word prediction is something we use a lot in the district. It really helps students with spelling challenges. So the word prediction icon is right here. It's called prediction and it's a co-writer product. So right away, you're going to see Leap. words that relate to that topic. So let's write, um, I really loved learning about frogs. So you're just going to start typing, I really, so really comes up right away. If a student wants to pick it, they can hover over it to listen to make sure that's the right one. Really. Ran. Ready. So really. in this case, really is the word they want. I'm going to click on it. Loved. I'll spell it wrong. Loved. <laughs> learning. I'll spell that wrong too. Learn. Learning came right up. I put no vowels in and it still came Learning. Up. About you, B. There it is. About frogs. Frick, frick. Frogs. Hit a period. I really loved learning about frogs. So it will read it again for them. So Red eyed. I'm going to close it for now. If the student wants to read this sentence that they wrote again or any of the text that's on that page, that hover speech is gone but you can hit the play button. A female red-eyed tree. 
Okay, so now they have word prediction as a writing tool. They also have dictation. So let's turn that off. Dictation is here and they call it talk and type in read and write. Same thing as dictation in, on the Mac. So I'm going to click on it. Now I'm going to start talking into the computer and it's going to type everything I say, period. So it's the same as uh, students are already using, but it just happens to be built into the toolbar. I always suggest students listen back to their sentence in case it's incorrect. So I'm going to hit play and look, let's see how it did. Now I'm going to start talking into the computer and it's going to type everything I say. So that's the gist of the toolbar. It's really useful and we've had hundreds of students use it. So I would recommend it.